the discovery of two ancient children, one buried in the permafrost of Maltar in Siberia and the other laid to rest beneath a rocky shelter in Montana, has reshaped our understanding of early human populations and the deep genetic threads that bind distant continents together. These two lost boys reveal a crossroads of human history, where the vast ice-covered landscapes of Siberia and the untamed wilderness of ancient North America converge in a tale of migration, adaptation, and genetic legacy. The Anzik boy, a child who lived approximately 12,600 years ago in what is now Montana in the United States, is one of the most significant archaeological finds in North America. His remains, discovered in 1968, were found alongside an astonishing collection of Clovis tools, including finely crafted projectile points and bone tools. This burial, the only known Clovis burial site, provided an extraordinary glimpse into one of the earliest cultures in the Americas. His DNA, preserved in the cold Montana soil, would eventually reveal a connection to an even older child found halfway across the world, the Malta boy. Thousands of miles away in a windswept Siberian steppe, the remains of another child, roughly 24,000 years old, were unearthed near Lake Baikal. Known as the Malta Boy, this child belonged to a people who hunted reindeer and woolly mammoths while crafting intricate carvings and personal ornaments. When scientists sequenced his genome, they discovered something astonishing. He was genetically related to both modern Europeans and Native Americans. The revelation challenged long-standing theories about the peopling of the Americas and forced scholars to rethink the ancestral roots of Native American populations. So how are these two children connected, despite living 10,000 years apart on two different continents? The answer lies in the great migrations that defined human history. Genetic analysis revealed that nearly one-third of the Anzik boy's genome came from the same ancient population as the Malta boy, an ancient North Eurasian lineage that had, until recently, remained a missing piece in the puzzle of Native American ancestry. This discovery suggested that some of the first people to set foot in the Americas carried a genetic signature inherited from these Ice Age Siberians. The implications were profound. This revealed that the Americas were not solely settled by East Asian populations crossing the Bering Land Bridge, but also by a deeply ancient lineage connected to both Europe and Siberia. The Malta people, while genetically linked to Native Americans, did not contribute directly to modern European populations in the same way. Instead, their genes were carried into North America through a population that had intermixed with East Asians before making the arduous journey across Beringia, the now submerged land bridge that once connected Siberia to Alaska. This fusion of lineages gave rise to the ancestors of modern Native Americans, blending the genetic heritage of East Asians with the ancient North Eurasians who once thrived in the frigid expanses of Ice Age Siberia. The connection between the Anzik boy and the Malta boy has not only reshaped our understanding of migration patterns, but also challenged the narrative of a single uniform migration event into the Americas. It suggests a more complex scenario in which multiple waves of people entered the New World, carrying diverse genetic legacies. The discovery underscores the vast interconnectedness of ancient populations, revealing that the ancestors of Native Americans were part of a much larger web of human movement that spanned continents and millennia. Yet beyond genetics, what did these ancient children experience in their short lives? The Malta boy lived in a world of great instability, where survival depended on hunting and utilizing every part of the animals they harvested. His people left behind remarkable artifacts, small carved female figurines, often compared to European Venus figurines, suggesting a shared artistic or symbolic tradition. Meanwhile, the Anzik boy belonged to a culture known for its exquisite craftsmanship and advanced hunting tools, a people who had adapted to North America's diverse landscapes, from dense forests to expansive plains. Their burials also reveal insights into their societies, the care with which the Anzik boy was buried, with stone tools and ochre covering his remains, suggests deep cultural and spiritual traditions, perhaps indicating beliefs about the afterlife or a profound reverence for ancestors. Similarly, the Malta boy was buried with personal ornaments, including a pendant, a testament to the significance of personal adornment and possibly social status in his community. However, the scientific establishment has not always been willing to accept the deep continuity between ancient Native Americans and their modern descendants. 
A striking example of this was the controversy surrounding Kennewick Man, a nearly 9,000-year-old skeleton found in Washington State in 1996. When his skull was analyzed, some anthropologists claimed it bore similarities to the Ainu of Japan rather than modern Native Americans. The Smithsonian Institution even commissioned a facial reconstruction that resembled an Ainu of Japan, reinforcing the notion that Kennewick Man was unrelated to native peoples of the Americas. This narrative was used to challenge Native American claims to the remains under the Native American Graves Protection and Repatriation Act, leading to a bitter legal battle. Yet, when Kennewick Man's DNA was finally sequenced, it confirmed what tribes had always asserted. He was, in fact, closely related to modern Native Americans, reaffirming their deep ancestral roots in North America. Further supporting the deep genetic continuity, other ancient Native American fossils discovered in Mexico and South America have also been shown to share the same haplogroup as Anzic Boy. These findings strengthen the argument that the genetic lineage of early Native Americans was widespread, persisting across diverse environments and vast distances. The presence of this shared haplogroup in ancient individuals from multiple regions underscores the deep and enduring legacy of the first inhabitants of the Americas. Anzic Boy's mitochondrial DNA belongs to the haplogroup D4H3A, a founder haplogroup that might represent people taking an early Western migration route into the Americas. One theory suggested that after crossing into North America from Siberia, a group of the first Americans, with the lineage D4H3A, moved south along the Pacific coast and finally, through thousands of years, into Central and South America. In another study, scientists sequenced genomes from 52 indigenous groups and concluded they shared common DNA with ancient North American skeletons. Two ancient skeletons from Lagoa Santa in Brazil carry the same mitochondrial DNA haplogroup, also carried by the Anzic One Boy. The Lagoa Santa of Brazil's closest Amerindian relatives are the Yagan of Tierra del Fuego and the extinct Periqui of Baja California. The relationship between these ancient children, Anzic Boy, Malta Boy, and even Kennewick Man, is not merely a matter of genetics. It is a story of human resilience, migration, and the shared history that unites people across time and space. Their connection reminds us that our ancestors were not static populations confined to one place, but rather intrepid explorers who adapted to shifting climates and landscapes, creating new societies and passing down knowledge, technology and traditions that shaped the world as we know it. The story of Anzic Boy and his genetic legacy challenges our understanding of human prehistory. It suggests that the ancestors of Native Americans were not simply the last great migrants into the Americas, but were also part of a much older and more complex web of migrations that shaped the genetic landscape of both the old and new worlds. As new genetic studies continue to refine our knowledge, we may find even more surprising links between the first Americans and the ancient Eurasians who called the icy tundras of Siberia their home. The past is never as simple as we assume, and the journey of our ancestors was far more intricate than a single straight path across the Bering Strait, the discovery of Anzic Boy and the unravelling of his genetic history force us to rethink long-held assumptions about human migrations and the origins of different populations. His existence challenges the simplistic view that prehistoric humans moved in linear, isolated migrations. Instead, his genes reveal a complex web of interconnections where people moved, mixed, and adapted to new environments over tens of thousands of years. The genetic legacy of the ancient North Eurasians did not disappear with them. It persists in modern humans across multiple continents, a testament to the deep, interwoven history of our species. What does this mean for our understanding of genetics and ancestry? It suggests that the roots of human populations are far more entangled than we often assume. The fact that a boy buried in Siberia 24,000 years ago shares ancestry with both Native Americans and ancient Siberians underscores the shared heritage of all humans, reminding us that our ancestors were travelers, innovators and survivors whose movements shaped the genetic landscape of the world we live in today. In a time when discussions about identity and belonging are increasingly important, the story of these lost boys serves as a powerful reminder that our histories are not separate but interconnected, stretching across vast distances and deep time.
As researchers continue to decode ancient genomes and uncover new archaeological evidence, the story of Anzic Boy will undoubtedly evolve, revealing even more about our ancestors and the ways they shaped our genetic destiny. But for now, his legacy remains a striking example of how two ancient children, lost in time but rediscovered through science, can illuminate the deep and complex history of the human journey. What other secrets lie hidden beneath the ice and soil, waiting to be uncovered? As DNA technology continues to advance, will we discover even deeper connections between ancient peoples? The story of the Anzic and Malta boys is far from over. It is an ever-evolving narrative that challenges our assumptions and invites us to rethink the origins of the first Americans and the vast migrations that shaped human history. The threads of our past are woven together in ways we are only beginning to understand, and each new discovery brings us closer to the full picture of our shared ancestry.